All right, everyone, this is the uh, MDDP, the Mark Decola Diesel Performance um, Cat Caterpillar oil filter conversion for a uh, L5P, so a 27 to 2020. In my case, this is a uh, 2019 L5P. Um, so we'll be doing the conversion on that today. Uh, this is not necessarily a how-to video. I'm not a professional, just a, a guy doing some work in his garage. So I'll go over some tools that uh, we're gonna need. There's a ton of videos online for um, the earlier trucks, the uh, LMM, the L LML, the LBZ, the LOY. But for the L5P, it's just slightly different. So it's actually what you get in the kit. Of course, you get your, your huge 1R1807 cat filter. It comes wrapped, that's nice. You get your uh, your thread adapter for your actual oil filter. You have to unscrew the factory one. Get an MDDP sticker, sweet. Instructions. And receipt, so. On the receipt, it's got a sweet little handwritten letter. Thanks for choosing MDDP for your D-Max, Mark Nicola. Nice touch. This kit's about, uh, I think about 80 bucks or so after tax. Um, so basically for the for the earlier trucks, which, which you'll see almost every video on YouTube, I haven't been able to find one for the L5P at all, but for the earlier trucks, you ha have to use a uh, half inch internal pipe wrench to remove it. Uh, these you don't, you just use a 15, 16 inch deep well, which we'll go over that in a second. So uh, we'll go over some tools needed and then uh, couple little things and we'll get right in the video so here's a few tools that I think we're gonna need uh, keep in mind I've never done this before not an install expert um, so of course you're gonna need your drain pan some assorted funnels if you need it uh, it does call out a torque spec for that um, thread adapter at 20 foot pounds if you have a torque wrench use it if you don't just don't go silly with it uh, don't don't over tighten it guys uh, 15 6 inch deep well I do have an adapter on there because this is actually 3 8 uh, I've got a half inch uh, ratchet. I actually have a strap wrench for the filter or a couple different filter inches. Not sure that I'll need this, but just in case. Got some gloves so I don't get all oily. Of course, I got my handy dandy tub of towels. Uh, got some tape and a marker. I'll explain that in a little bit. And then I got a little trick when I do the uh, oil changes. So Reynolds wrap. So I'll show you guys some of that in just a second. We are going to be using, um, last time we did use um, Ames oil. Uh, this time I'm going to be using um, some Shell Rotella 1540. I uh, have not used this oil yet. This truck only has about uh, 13,000 miles on it. So it's pretty much brand new. It's a 2019. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're underneath the truck. Uh, this is not the oil filter. <laughs> Just so you guys know, it's for the transmission. Um, so what we're going to be replacing today is this cat or this, uh, this oil filter with the Caterpillar replacement. This is actually an AMS oil filter. Um, yeah. So this truck does have a, uh, Fumoto drain valve. Uh, so I've just got it actually running right into my pan. Uh, your truck does not have this. You will need a, um, I believe it's a 15 millimeter for the factory drain plug. So let's go ahead and remove this clip. And then I believe it's a, uh, raise up. And flip it down so there you go it's it's pretty mess free can't cannot get a uh, less messy than that so we'll, we'll let it take a while uh, let the oil drain do its thing um, and then we'll we'll go ahead and let this keep draining here in a minute and then I'll start taking this uh, other filter out so the Fumoto uh, valve I would say maybe the only drawback to this thing is it drains a little slow uh, so it does drain a little bit or, or not as fast as the uh, OEM drain plug, but uh, You know, I made that little mess there. That was just me check pulling it out to check to see how much it was flowing So I would have literally zero mess with this thing. So it makes it nice um, Now the aluminum foil here's where the aluminum foil comes into play I just used two little pieces and all I did was basically do a build a funnel So I just stuck it up underneath there or else it comes down it uh, gets all over your drive shaft gets all over your uh, uh, traction bar here gets on the inside of your frame gets all along your cross member uh, everywhere so this normally works out pretty good um, so let's see if we can get this thing undone here and see if we can 
straight as here. I went ahead and grabbed another pan so I could work in tandem. Drop it right in the pan. You don't have hardly any mess. You know, it's not really that big of a deal, but for those of you who don't want to get your garage floor soaked, it normally works out pretty well. So, and whenever you're done, you'll just uh, let that drain all the way out. You'll take your aluminum foil out, uh, and then you won't have much to clean up, just a little bit. So, we'll get right to the install. Yep, so just a quick size comparison on the filters. Here's your uh, factory size filter, uh, comparable to AC Delco PF uh, 2232, I think. And here is the uh, cat filter. I always just write on the filter what the day is, what my miles are, what kind of wall I put on it, et cetera. But I mean, just to give you a quick comparison, I mean, that thing is, is uh, absolutely huge compared to the AMS oil filter. So, like I mean that, shoot, that cat filter is 10 inches tall, but I'm probably, it's, it's literally double. It's double the size and it's bigger around too, so. Here's the uh, factory thread adapter for the oil filter I just screwed out. It's a 15 16, so it's a deep well. Uh, all I did was, and this is the end that was facing the engine block, I did was just slip it on there and untorque it. It does have quite a bit of thread, so you're gonna have to Work it for a little while. It was not very tight. Um, just be patient with it. Don't get crazy. It'll come right out. There's just a size comparison to that and the um, cap or the MDDP adapter, rather. So uh, I've checked inside of it. Make sure there's no uh, leftover de metal debris from the manufacturing process. I know it sounds a little overkill, but it can never be too too safe. So it's a 15 16 so also. Uh, and do not throw this away, guys. I know you think, oh, well, I've got a new upgraded filter. I'm good to go. I'll never need to use it again. But, um, you know, like my truck, my truck's under warranty um, and for 36,000 miles. So, you know, if I have to take it in for something, something happens to it, I'll probably end up swapping a factory style filter back on it. You're going to need to keep this part to, in order to do that. So always keep your factory parts. And, uh, you know, if you have a buddy or something that, that needs one or, you know, they break some stuff on theirs, you can always just give it to them. So better than tossing in the garbage. Yep. All right. So we're going to put this uh, thread adapter into the uh, up here by the oil, where the oil filter goes. And you're just going to want to do this by hand. Grab your uh, 15 sixteenths and uh, run that thing down. All right, guys, we got our torque wrench at the 20 foot pounds here. Uh, we ran this one in basically until the, the thread stopped. Okay. 20 foot pounds and that is torqued. And now we'll uh, pre-fill our cat filter with Rotella and clap her on. And this is what it looks like after it's installed. Pretty, pretty damn big filter. All right, guys, that wraps up the cat filter install for uh, 2017 to 2019 L5P. Big shout out to MDDP, awesome stuff. Um, did top it off we are completely full uh it does take an additional quart of oil so you're going to be up to uh 11 quarts for the 66 duramax um last thing i do always write this down i write down what the date was what my uh mileage was when i changed the oil so that way i just got a quick reminder so all right guys thank you for watching once again 2019 uh l5p cat filter upgrade